Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing The Sims 4 today. My favorite life simulator where we can do very, very normal things. Let me catch you up on the adventures so far. This guy right here, this is Keanu. I mean, his real name is I Got McDem Shoulders, because I mean, he does have them shoulders. But for obvious reasons, we just started calling him Keanu. Once upon a time, he was new to the neighborhood, so we built him a nice little place so he can always look out to the neighborhood, and they can always look back at him. And then he made himself a friend named Rusty, who, whether he wanted to or not, not became Keanu's roommate, because I locked the door on him. And that's when Keanu found his real passion. Painting. Specifically, paintings of Rusty. Once you find a cash cow like that, you can't just let him go. But you also want your muse to be happy, right? So I captured a couple of friends for him. About 200 of them. And that's how Rusty led a content life. Crammed among strangers for so long that he grew old. And then eventually his wife came around and was like, hey, have you seen Rusty? I couldn't help but notice your art show outside. Made me think maybe you know something. And that's when the unfortunate happened. Rusty died of, uh, let's go with natural causes. But that's okay, I'm sure she'll get over it. So now you're all caught up on the wild adventures of Keanu. And Rusty, may he rest in peace. But it's probably time for Keanu to saddle up and start a new life. So let's get out of here and see if we can start fresh somewhere else. Presumably somewhere that doesn't know who he is or what he's done. Let's see, where should we live now? Well, this looks pretty inviting. Brindleton Bay, here we come. We're gonna move right on over here to Cavalier Cove. Ah, what a lovely place we've got for him. Here's to new beginnings. What do you think of your new place, Keanu? Oh, I see we're wasting no time. Going right into stalking mode. Oh my god, what was that? Does that guy have a dog? This could be fun. Well, I think it's probably time we introduce ourselves to the neighborhood. Watch out, world, here comes Keanu. Well, this appears to be the, uh, I guess maybe the barbecue area. Not to mention my favorite, public restrooms, which our friend here has a history of being accidentally creepy right outside of them. Oh, hello there. What have we here? Of course, a cat with a top hat. Well, I guess we should go say hi. Let's see, what options do we have available? Rude introduction. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, you let him have it, Keanu. That's the face of giving a crap. Hey, wait, where do you think you're going? Come back. We're going to be best friends. I'm glad an option is just pick up. Because if there's one thing I know, cats love it when you don't know them and pick them up. Yes, Keanu, that's how you do it. You smother it to death in your armpit. I had no idea you were such a pet person. Can I just hold this thing all night? Oh, this guy's giving me the judgy eyes. I better put you down. Gotta appear normal for now. In fact, it turns out if you hang out out here, there's just animals all over the place, emitting green gas and just demanding attention. Hello there, dog creature. How would you like to be friends? Oh, you're just so cute. Let's take him home, Keanu. No one's gonna miss him if you're quick. Back to the house we go. Don't let the neighbors see what you've done. And there we go. Well, that was easy. I guess we got a pet now. Hey, what? Where are you going? There's no way he can just operate the door, right? <laughs> Oh, okay then. I guess my tactic for getting new animals isn't gonna work here. Oh, silly me. I think I just forgot to lock the door. Okay, let's try this again. Round two, let's go acquire another pet. Wait a minute, what's happening here? Looks like some barbecuing going on. Wait a minute, can I just take some of this? Well, there's always time for free food. Hi, yeah, thanks. No talking, just taking. See, this is how you make friends. You just take other people's food, enjoy it a little too much, and make sure to face away from the cook so there's absolutely no chance of social interaction. We can't forget about our mission, though. We're here to steal some animals. For that, I'm gonna need you people to leave. I can't abduct all these animals while you're still standing here. I don't want to be seen as the village weirdo or anything. All right, finally. It's like two in the morning. Keanu's been sitting here just eating burger after burger. And now that everyone's gone, it's time to make some new friends. Hello, cat creature. How would you like to be part of my home? Okay, let's try this again. In we come. Cat goes down. Door goes locked for everyone but me. Welcome to your new home. Hey, wait, you can't be up there. Actually, you know what? I don't really care. Keanu's gonna go find you a playmate. And now it's time we play one of my favorite games. Is there a limit? In this case, the question is, is there a limit to how many strays we can take home with us? Hey there, whatever your name is. I brought you a friend. Ah, yes, I can already tell this is gonna be a house of madness. So let us continue. Dear Diary, today I had a completely normal day where nothing odd happened. Not even once. Just a relaxing day at home by myself. What the heck? What was that noise? Time to investigate. Hey, can you guys keep it down in here? I'm trying to get some writing done. Quit your crying. You're acting like you've been kidnapped or something. Oh, wait. But really, though, I think the answer is no. There's not actually a limit. The more cats and dogs you abduct, the more that appear. So, I mean, this is just his life now. In one fell swoop, we've given him such a full life. Mmm. Cat and dog hair everywhere. And who doesn't love to slumber with this beautiful symphony in the background? 
truly sleep the sleep of kings. Hey, Kiana, what are you doing out here? Why aren't you inside your house? Couldn't have anything to do with the intolerable amount of meowing in there, could it? Oh, you know what's really funny, by the way? If you go down to your phone here, and if you open it up and go to something like travel, all the animals are just in your phone book. I love that mixed in here, there's like a couple of human beings. But besides that, it's just all animals. I mean, otherwise, how are you going to text Tammy and Pickles and Sprinkles and let them know you want to get together later? Well, let's drag seven cats along and go for an adventure. Oh, thank goodness. Travel. Everyone is coming with you. Me and all my friends. Let's go to this bar here. The Salty Paws Saloon. Okay, here we are. A grown man and his army of cats that immediately take off the first chance they can. Well, it looks like some of them are going to go and play in traffic. Whatever, you'll be back. And in the meantime, I'm going to be at the bar. Hey, Keanu, I think that seat's taken. Someone's drink is right there. Or I guess you could just make it yours. Uh-oh, I think we found out whose drink that was. And Keanu's like, don't be such a salty sailor. Oh, wow, it's already nighttime outside. Oh, you know what? I forgot all about the cats. I guess I should go look for them. Hey, lady, have you seen any uh, cats around here with a top hat on? Hello? Cats? Cats anywhere? I don't get it. Where did these strays that I stole go? I even tried calling them, and all the calls are going to voicemail. Something must have happened to them. And you know where I would go if I were injured and a cat and had higher brain functions? I'd go to the vet. So let's go. Well, here we are at the vet clinic. Let's see. How is this going to work? First, let's start by taking advantage of as many amenities as we can. And, you know, treat this like this is our home. Except for the art. Kiana would put up with nothing like this. Now we're just going to have a seat, see if our cats show up. So it seems like the way this works is people come in with their pets and then they check in with this machine. Couldn't help but notice, though, that the cats there are just just, uh, not on a leash. We find this setup very interesting, don't we? And her back is turned. You know what to do. Now's your chance, go! Good hustle, Keanu. Aw, oh, dang it. The cat's already safe. That's okay. We can be patient. Oh, I'm so bored. Let's at least get a better view over here at the couch. Or, yeah, we could do that. I mean, surely this is what you want from your vet experience, right? Couldn't have said it better myself. And it definitely woke up Sleeping Beauty here. Quick, Keanu, now's your chance. Who cares that the owner is carefully monitoring? Wait, no, where are you going? How am I supposed to do something about that when it's so fast? Wait, can I just walk right in? Like, will anything stop me? Apparently not. Hello, everybody. Dog is like, what the hell? You're not my owner. I like the idea that everyone's kind of trying to pretend Keanu isn't there as the dog gets treatment. Quickly, the dog's on the ground again. Keanu, get in there and love the dog. Hey, little guy, how's it going? Nothing weird going on over here. Just a total stranger talking to your dog. No, wait, come back. Keanu, get him. Well, she's definitely leaving, but it looks like I got someone else's attention. Come here, you. I'll just, uh, hold on to you for safekeeping. Yeah, I've always loved dogs that I bought and own that are mine. Well, listen, it was really nice talking with you about legitimate dog ownership, but I really should be getting this guy home. Come on, nameless dog, let's go home. No, Keanu, wait, don't put him down. You know, I don't think he's coming back. No big deal. Now that I know I can just go back here, I'll be trying this again, thank you. Did you see that in the background? Yeah, leave legitimate owner. Leave me alone with your pet. That, as it turns out, I can just leash them myself as the legitimate owner just watches me leash his dog and then just run off with it. Where the hell can I put this dog where it won't escape? Well, let's try this door. What is this, like the employee lounge? Wakey, wakey, Keanu needs this room for dog storage. Don't do anything dumb like run away, okay? Damn it. There it goes again. Wish I could lock these doors somehow. But I guess you can't expect to just go into a place, be able to do whatever you want with it, unless we own the place. And it just so happens, right from our phone, we can. Let him just make one call real fast, and this place is gonna be ours. Wait, buying this vet clinic? Or, as they like to call it, the hospital? Only costs 78000 Well, I've got way more than that. From my painting days. Let's do it. And just like that, the place belongs to us. Now, we should probably look the part, right? My god, I would believe you're the genuine article. Hi there, I'm Dr. McDem Shoulders. Oh look, it's that girl who saw me as not a doctor that owned this establishment one hour ago. And this must be your bundle of joy here. Who my initial assessment is this cat is already dead. Well, we're gonna take her into the back and see what we can do. We use a lot of experimental techniques here. Hmm, these results are most interesting. Yeah, I've never seen a case quite like this one. We only have one choice. We're gonna have to keep her here for overnight observation. So yeah, if you wouldn't mind, all 
I'll call you when she's feeling better, so probably never. Okay, mom's gone. Let's do this. Now we'll take it back over to my office and just put you down right here. Okay, you stay right there. Just nobody come in here. No one but me. Okay, hopefully no one disturbs you. Hey, what are you doing? Wait a minute. How did you just walk in there? Wait, can you get out now? Well, that'll teach you, you little psycho. Welcome to being roommates. Oh, hello. Oh, is this your dog? Well, let's get him checked out. Yeah, just wait out there. I'm doing a bunch of super comprehensive tests or whatever. Yeah, it's the worst case I've ever seen. You go home, I'll call you. <laughs> sucker. This is much easier. They just bring the animals to me. Oh, hey, it's you again. Nice to see you back. Do you have another diseased cat for me? Looks like the cat's going nuclear, so close enough. Looks like everyone's getting along just fine. Yeah, you know the drill. Bye for now. And the fun just keeps coming in. Another cat for me to take? You shouldn't have. Well, we've been at this for a little while now. I feel like Keanu's really in his element these days. We've tried our best to set expectations accordingly, although none of us really know what business months are. But you know, despite the noises that you hear as you walk past that one door, it's pretty much business as usual. Oh, you wanted to see in that door? Shall we show him, Keanu? But before I show you and you freak out, just know all the animals are okay in the end. So in case you were wondering, once again, no, there's probably not a limit to how many you can shove in here. And just a reminder, all the animals will be okay. Really, though, the thing we were trying to do is confine them all to this one room. After all, we need to keep up appearances. Can't let people know we're completely lying. Although I guess you would never really know, seeing as how we have a one out of five star review average. What do you suppose those Yelp reviews even look like? <laughs> one out of five stars. My pet never came home. I mean, hell, let's make it official. After all, who wouldn't be proud to display a one out of five stars rating? You may notice something else is slightly different around here. The copious amounts of vomit all over the place. Oh, and believe me, it's everywhere. Now, you might notice it has something of a pattern. That's because obviously it's originating from inside here, but there's not enough space. So instead, it's extending out into the world. <laughs> and boy, do I mean extending. Look at these beautiful barf shockwaves. The best, worst Zen garden you can possibly imagine. So much so that I replaced the giant picture in the lobby with it. So even if people don't know what it is, they can still appreciate it. Don't worry, though. We're not total monsters. Uh, oh. Huh, they all appear to be better now. Keanu, is there something you're not telling me? Did you become a real veterinarian? In that case, be free, my beautiful pets. And don't forget to tell your owners not to sue. Well, this has been just great. You know, you did a great thing today. Cured all these animals. And look at that, you didn't really do any kidnapping this time. And don't look now, Keanu. Someone wants you to make a house call. Your reputation precedes you. Well, who are we to deny an animal in need? Let's go heal some animals. You know what's kind of nice is they're neighbors of ours. That's our house flying away. There's our beautiful beach separating us. And here's their house just hanging out on the other side. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Uh, hello? Are you just out here playing unattended? Where are your parents? Well, nice to meet you, I guess. Well, I've learned something both horrible and hilarious. I think The Sims kind of treats toddlers like everything else in the game, which is to say with way more trust than you'd have in the real world. I don't know how else to explain that I can pick up the kid within one second of meeting them. Oh my god, and they're in my phone book now. I can't can't really travel with this kid, can I? As a test, let's leave Brindleton Bay and go all the way, oh, over to here. <laughs> oh my god, here we are. Me and someone else's kid. Hey, hey lady, would you mind doing me a favor? Would you mind watching that kid for a little while? She's not mine or anything, but I mean, you know. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> you two have fun now. Okay, and now to travel out of here. Not with the child. I can now confirm the kid is totally not with me. But I mean, it's The Sims. So presumably she's back home and everything. <laughs> Why does she look Look like a ghost in this picture. Well, we can confirm. It's because she's still out partying in Oasis Springs. Okay, we need to have a talk with these parents. Mostly to ask him if they've seen their four-year-old. Hello? Hello? Hey, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I drove your kid to, like, another city somewhere. But she's being watched by a total stranger, so it's probably okay. Oh, excuse me. I didn't realize you were so busy right now. You're not gonna mind if I just take a look around, are you? Okay, thanks. Yeah, don't get up. Oh, hello there. What are you doing, little guy? How would you like to take a little trip? Yeah, wait here. I swear, I've just got some other stuff to do. Oh, you guys have a dog, too. You know the drill, just wait here. Oh, another kid. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm gonna need you to come with me right now. Hey, toddler, good to see you again. I'm gonna need you to watch your older brother, okay? I have to do something right now for science, but there's an okay chance that I'm gonna come back. Maybe. Hey, me again. Ah, you must be the wife. Hey, that's how I like to eat, too. Standing in front of the microwave, staring vacantly. So listen, I'm gonna need you and your husband to come with me. Okay, so I know the 
this is my house, but that's not actually where we're going. We're just gonna go next door to this other house because they have a big swimming pool. And I thought that would be fun. So yeah, go ahead. Both of you just get in. I'll definitely be joining you momentarily. I'm definitely not gonna delete the ladder and replace it with a piece of fence. Just remember, this is all for science. The question is, what happens to your household when there's no adults left? There's really only one way to find out. How you guys doing? You doing okay in there? Ma'am? Ma'am? Well, I guess that's that. What about you, stud? How are you feeling? Feeling good, I see. You know, The Sims is just all sorts of surprising me today. I didn't think it'd let me kill both parents. Don't forget, this is all just for science and not really a psychopath. I just wanted to see what would happen if you liberated those kids from those neglectful parents. Okay, let's see what happens to the house now. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, God. So I can't knock on the door because no one lives here now. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Uh, yeah, so hey, kids, I gotta tell you something. Let's just say your Uncle Keanu is responsible for you now. But listen, I know someone that's great. You're gonna get a new parent, probably better than the old ones. And certainly there won't be any lasting damage. So come with me, kids. You're gonna love this place. Now remember, just give her a chance. Kids, I want you to meet your new foster parent. I think everything's gonna be all right from now on. Okay, you crazy kids have fun now. Doors locked from the inside, no takesies backsies. I'm sure these kids are gonna be just fine. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. I'm gonna give this family some time to bond, you know, over the TV that's not even on. And I'll see you next time.